do you, do you think there's time <clears throat> for that? It seems in the opinion of some that time is running out, that we may be approaching a nuclear Armageddon. Uh, for your process to work, it seems like uh, it will take uh, uh, a very long time. Uh, f first of all, what is your time limit? And do you think that there is enough time for your process to work before there is perhaps a nuclear confrontation? This is the country that is going to bring that day of nuclear war. This is the country which can do it. Likewise, it is this country which can postpone that day, postpone that day, postpone that day, and by the use of the technology of the unified field, create support of nature so that there is real self-sufficiency and no enemy will be born for the nation. This country can do anything. Today it seems that this technology of the unified field is my technology, and today it seems that it is my duty to save the country or to drown the country. I can only give a message. For all these 30 years, 25 years, I've been successful in this country as everywhere in the country. My message has been proven to be a good message, and now this is my message today. For USA Today, that hurry up, otherwise you are going to be the cause of destruction for all mankind. USA ha is that powerful country in the world that it can be, can, can bring about total destruction to all mankind. That is why I want to save this country from that what? Mm -hmm. Black name in all future history, that the people of this country should raise the national consciousness to that level, from where only positivity will radiate from the country, and then the government will be all positive. Those days are gone with the discovery of the unified field. Those days are completely over, where one can think that on the basis of the electronic and nuclear weapons, on the basis of the scientific superiority in the world, I can dominate world society. Even for the existence, USA depends on others' opinions. Even for existence. That gives us a very clear picture that what this country needs is self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency is immensely available in the unified field. Now the technology of the unified field is completely available. Absolutely, the press should plunge into it. It's your duty to plunge into bringing the awareness to the people that, is, that here is some alternative means whereby we can save not only destruction in the world, but we can be the pioneers of creating heaven on earth. We can be the pioneers of creating unified field-based civilization. And if we delay and delay and delay, then it is to our pleasure what we want to do to ourselves and what we want to do to the world. As you sow, so shall you reap is, a, is an old and time-tested understanding of all mankind. As you sow, so shall you reap both from the, science, from the platform of science and from the platform of religion. This is basically a religious saying, as you sow, so shall you reap. But science has proven it today. If you tackle the level of electron, if you tackle the level of 
positron, if you tackle the level of chemical reaction, you, you handle any uh, natural law at any level. And as you sow, so shall you reap. You can have a command of any level of nature's functioning, depending on where you focus, where you focus, where you focus. If you focus on the unified field, all great glory of natural law is completely available. If you don't focus here, you make a choice, focus on electrons, nuclear, hmm? you make a choice and you will accomplish it. And if you continue to make a choice on the electronic level, there are others also who are capable of focusing on those levels, then you are creating trouble for yourself. Hmm. I am all in favor of making the country most powerful, but I see that real power is vested in nature's functioning, invincible power of nature, which hangs the big balls, all the solar systems, galaxies in empty space, makes them run with such great speed. That power of nature I want to be enjoyed by the people and the government of USA today. Because this is that most developed country in the world, most highly developed scientific reality is in this country. So what I'm speaking is just the truth. <laughs>